Hello, I'm Logan Crawford, and welcome to the NFT Studio 24 podcast interview. NFT Studio 24 is a global media platform dedicated to empowering the emerging world of decentralization, blockchain, metaverse, NFT, and crypto by reporting on the latest and most authentic news. We interview various figures to highlight their expertise and contributions to the industry in hopes of conveying the right message to our global audience. NFT Studio 24 will soon be launching a Metaverse for All campaign in Africa, Japan, Vietnam, Pakistan, and India to help educate 3 million people, especially young students and adult learners, about Web3 and Metaverse as well. We believe education is the key to development, and NFT Studio 24 is offering certificates of experience and research to learners. Simply sign up with NFT Studio 24, read and research different case studies on nftstudio24.com, pass the exam, and you will receive a certificate in the future. On today's episode, we are interviewing Dr. Nasheta Sakzev. She is a managing director of Luna Media Corporation. Dr. Nasheta is a well-known public relations and marketing expert in Web3 based in Dubai. At Luna PR, she helps clients establish their brands at a global level through marketing, public relations, advisory, and investor relations. Dr. Nishetta is also a creative director at Cointelegraph Mina, partner investor in Luna VC, part of Luna Foundation, and she also has experience in talent management as well. Luna PR, along with Nishetta, has worked with over 600 blockchain and crypto projects and has continuously gained attention from global investors. For today's interview, we are discussing the importance of public relations agencies in the crypto and blockchain space from her experience. First of all, Doctor, thank you so much for joining us here today on our podcast session. We're delighted to have you. Thanks for having me. I'm Absolutely. Really And we would love for you to give a little introduction to our viewers. Tell them a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Luna Media Corporation. For sure. So um, I'll start off with an introduction to myself. Uh, I have been in the space since 2017. I kind of started investing as a student. Um, My sister has been heavily involved in the space since then as well. So she kind of dragged me in. Um, I have a background in marketing. I have a degree in marketing and then went back to school to become a dentist. Um, However, during COVID, we weren't allowed to practice because we were considered super spreaders. And so we decided to scale the talent management agency and uh, basically bring it into Web3. We were um, kind of doing like models for these uh, events, for crypto events, and we were hosting these events as well and advising some projects on the smaller scale. And we decided that it was just time to go in with a bang. So uh, set up here in Dubai, and this kind of brings me into Luna Media Corporation. Um, so yeah, we set up in uh, 2020 in Dubai, and since then uh, have grown exponentially. So it's been quite the journey. Um, On the Luna Media Corporation side, we house multiple different companies. So we have Luna PR, which is an award-winning PR and marketing agency. We've worked with over 600 projects with Luna PR alone. So it's been quite an insane um, transformation in the space that we've seen. (laughs) Uh, We help clients do their marketing, PR, investor relations, branding, and advisory. Uh, aside from Luna PR, we have Cointelegraph Mina. So we own the franchise to Cointelegraph Mina. And our goal here is to bring education into this region. Um, the Middle East and North Africa has uh, provided us uh, as Luna with a massive base. Um, you know, And we realized that there was just such a big hole in the market when it came to education. You have all these brilliant projects and everyone wants to learn about crypto but there wasn't any trusted source. So that's our goal there is to make it a source of educational content in the region. Uh, Aside from this, we're co-producing a show with CNBC Arabia. It's a first ever crypto show, well, Web3 show, um, and that hits 50 million households per episode. So it's insane. We have some insane figures on there from, uh, I guess I can't really say who yet, but let's just say some top top 10 projects. <laughs> um, aside from this, we have our VC, uh, where we invest in token raises and, uh, you know, our foundation where we help educate girls in third world countries. 
Wonderful. Lots of exciting things going on. A laundry list, as a matter of fact. We're excited for you. You have created such a bang, as you said, in the crypto space and the decentralized world. Part of your goal is educating people. So let's educate our viewers right now. How would you define a PR agency? So a PR agency basically helps get the news out. It's like uh, if you had a golden product and, you know, first of its kind, but no one knew about it. What would you do? I mean, if you think about it, none of the brands that we know today would be known without marketing. Um, so, yeah, that's that's basically what we do. We help educate people about, about certain projects, about certain features, news, uh, updates and solutions are so important, especially in such an early stage in crypto. So we help bring those solutions to light. So for example, with decentralization, there are so many countries out there that are facing this issue. We need to get the news out to all of these people who want that decentralization. And I mean, this is just such a small uh, case with DeFi, for example. But if you go into other things like the gaming community or NFTs and the real cases of NFTs and what they can be used for, I mean, it's it's limitless. So that's what we do. <laughs> Absolutely. And the people who are in the space or want to be involved in the space need an advocate particularly when dealing with the media, and that's where you come in. Tell us how PR agencies help creators, companies, and entrepreneurs promote their projects in the Web3 space. For sure. So uh, basically what we do is we help advise our projects as well. So we're not just like a you know, press release distribution where, where you know clients will come to us with news and we're like, okay, we're done. We really take a look into what the project is doing uh, or the entrepreneur and what solutions they're offering uh, for you know whatever markets. And we help distribute the news and advise them on how they can firstly better their product, get more reach, and really get out there and expand into regions that they might not think about. So we like to work more as partners in the space. Absolutely. Now, you have vast experience. Luna PR has worked with 600 crypto and blockchain projects. That is quite a resume. Tell us how you pick authentic Web3 projects to help them build their brand identity. I feel like um, this is a bit of a tricky question. Uh, crypto is just such a small market. And obviously, within the 600, some of them do overlap. The main thing is, though, the messaging and their key target markets. So what is the brand looking to, to achieve through their marketing? What is the solution that they're offering? Where are they willing to go? What is their roadmap and what's their end goal here? And we take all of this and package it up and create this unique identity for each brand. So you might have something that's so sophisticated that, let's say, a crypto bank. It's so sophisticated, but it is in crypto. So it has that little degen side to it. Um, you know, so so we like to mix things up and have fun and take that sophisticated side of a professional business and really enter it into the Web3 space to allow it to have its own identity. How can small Web3 projects with no white paper or social media presence benefit from your PR agency? So we do a lot of advisory, uh, which also means that we help with tokenomics. We help develop your white paper. We can even help build your website and logo. So we've taken um, projects go from ideas into established companies or even help brands just elevate their project a little bit. So we do a bit of everything. Uh, with smaller projects, it's where we have the most fun because we have absolute freedom to do everything and anything. So we can play around and bounce around ideas between founders and our team, and we can come up with something really unique and interesting. Absolutely. Now, a lot of people believe that the best way to promote is to go on Twitter or Instagram, social media, but in their goal to build a global brand, PR agencies can help in a different way. Tell us how you work differently than simply being out there in the social media space. So while we do manage social media, you know, we do use those tools. I call them tools for a reason. They are great to get the word out there, but what's the messaging that you're getting out there? And already, uh, if you look at Twitter, we call it crypto Twitter in the space. So crypto Twitter alone is already quite small. Uh, you know, you have um, 
you have a well wide reach, but what about the educational aspect? You don't need to educate crypto Twitter on the basics of crypto. You need to educate the masses. It, the real mass adoption comes when you, education is formed as a foundation. So in order to form that foundation, that's where PR really is needed in the space. So establishing, uh, you know, that layer of what what can we do with crypto? What is the real power behind it? I mean, it's such a it, it, crypto right now can be a bit infamous. I'm sure that if you speak to people in the space, you, you know, they'll be like, oh, you're in crypto. I don't want to speak to you. Or, yo, oh, how do you, you know, all these scams are happening. How do you stay safe? It's like the first place that people go to or, you know, drug dealers and the black market. I mean, just just so I've heard it all. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's really the power of PR is getting the right news out there, because with so much negative news around crypto and Bitcoin going around, it's really important to really spread the positive message behind what the Web3 space really is about. Absolutely. And a PR agency such as yours can help a client establish credibility, establish legitimacy. And part of that is getting into top publications Recently, you helped a client get into Forbes for an interview. There are many examples of your clients getting these type of huge investments as well. How do you differentiate between the black market and the white market? Within the investment space or within the uh, publication space? Publication space. So this is really tricky. Uh, obviously, I mean, we started Luna PR when journalists weren't covering crypto. You couldn't even pay for a journalist to cover crypto. So we we entered in a really tricky um, area. And then once the journalists started and these crypto publications started popping up, everyone expected payments. And in order to really get the prices high, they were faking the web traffic and they were, you know, just, it was just a lot of scams going on in the space. Now we aim for organic pickup. So we don't pay uh, to publish any articles. We try to do everything organically. And luckily now crypto is moving more mainstream, which means that more and more publications that are tier one traditional media that are covering crypto. So from CNBC, uh, Forbes, Entrepreneur Magazine, all of these trusted sources, they've started to cover crypto. And that's exactly what we always aim for. Uh, also with Cointelegraph, um, it is one of the most trusted sources of crypto uh, for crypto education, crypto news, just the Web3 space overall. So what we aim to do with this is make sure that the news that we get out is always going to be trustworthy. So, uh, I, I mean, it takes a lot um a lot of effort on our end. We have an entire team to manage the research, the editorial side, the outreach, the interviews. I mean, it's the works, but it's what you have to do to stay clear of any scams. <laughs> Absolutely. Now you've got some highly effective PR strategies. Tell our viewers a little bit about them, what these strategies are and how they work for your clients. Of course. So each client works really differently. I mean, um, an NFT project will be so different to something like a DeFi marketplace. Uh, so, you know, we, we try and really tailor it down. Uh, we have a massive database of journalists that we're in touch with. And what we do is we'll scrape that database down into the journalists that are writing about the specific project, the specific solutions that are looking for that news. And we'll try and target those. But along with this, we help with the messaging of the brand. So the overall underlying tone that the brand wants to go for. So if it's to educate the masses, is it to aim for decentralization? Is it just for hype and fun? Um, you know, we've, we've seen it all. So, uh, you know, we, we really uh, tailor that down and um, come up with a strategy that will benefit the brand in the long run. So it'll go side by side with the roadmap of whatever companies that we're working with. How can creators or small companies gain investments from big investors through Luna PR? We do investor relations. Uh, so we're in touch with several hundred VC, it's high net worth individuals, family offices that look for these early token raises or even equity raises. Um, but basically the way it works is we'll draft a pitch and it's very similar to PR. It's really heavily dependent on our relationship with these, uh, you know, with these investors or with the journalists that we're in touch with. And 
what we do is we'll pitch the story uh, to make sure that it's appealing and, you know, give you the facts. So we'll lay it all out, give you the pitch deck. And if you're interested, great, we'll connect you guys. Um, however, there is a little demand from our investors, let's say. They want to see that you guys, I say you guys, the projects that we work with are, you know, they, they have a strong backing. So they want to see a good team, any advisors that you have on board, any strong partnerships. What other VCs have invested in the projects? What partnerships do you have? Are you backed by Microsoft? Are you backed by Polygon? Um, you know, like what, what's going on with your entire project? What's your roadmap like? And using all of these little tools and these uh, added benefits of your project, we'll pitch it to, you know, our unique investors that might be interested. A lot of people in the space right now are bootstrapping it, as you know. So here's the question. How can a person with very low funds benefit from your PR agency? Well, we work really customized. So uh, we have worked with projects on a complete token retainer where we basically invest in the project in exchange for tokens. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll offer PR services as well to help out. Uh, aside from that, we can customize the retainer or packages to be whatever your budget is. I mean, uh, we can do just one pitch, uh, you know, as a one-off experience and see where it gets you. We can work with, I don't know, a thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. We work you'll, with you'll tailor <laughs> the marketing plan and the PR plan based on their budget and their needs, okay. I guess. Right. Yeah, yeah so. for sure. I mean, the budget is such a big part of the marketing experience because we don't want companies to spend their entire budget on marketing in the hopes of, you know, just this massive growth when it's unrealistic. So we want to make sure that we have that sustainable marketing strategy in place, no matter what the budget size is. Awesome. Now, congratulations on winning the Web3 Consulting Firm of the Year Award at the Leaders in Fintech 2022. So a big congratulations there. What are your thoughts on winning such a big prize as a PR agency? Well, thank you so much, personally. Your dogs um, are happy too. I know. <laughs> They're, <laughs> They're <happy>. celebrating. <laughs> um, no, it's been so great though. Uh, so this award to us means so much. Um, it, when we started Luna PR, we were working. I, when I say we, I... I say me, my sister, and the first, I'd say, five team members that we ever hired. Um, we were working 17 hours a day, 24 24-7, uh, basically. Uh, <laughs> it, it didn't stop. I remember waking up in the middle of the night, checking messages, getting back to projects, um, seven days a week, no weekends. We use our weekends to network and, you know, really build uh, internally as well. And to go from that to where we are today with over 120 team members has been surreal. It has, um, it, it's really, you know, it, it shows the, the fruits of your labor, you know? Absolutely. What you put into it is what you get out of it and you're getting a lot out of it and your clients are getting a lot out of it as well. And it's nice to see that kind of effort recognized. Now, Luna Ventures recent, recently acquired Cointelegraph Mina franchise. Why did you choose to invest in this platform and what do you see in a project when it comes to investment? So um, we invested in a few projects. Uh, Luna Media Corp invested in owning the franchise of Cointelegraph Mina. So what we've done there is we've invested in Luna Media Corp as a whole just to spread the mass adoption of blockchain. The main goal behind uh, Cointelegraph Mina is just to educate the masses here. We saw, you know, just this massive need for education in the space. And there's no trusted media that's based in the Middle East and North Africa. So we wanted to be there. We wanted to be the source of it and really get in deep with the community and start from scratch because that's that's what we love doing. We're so passionate about the space. On the VC side of things, um, we've invested in several token raises. Uh, a few of our clients, um, you know, some projects that we're helping out here and there, advising projects as well. Um, I want to name a few. I'm not sure if I can. Uh, just, I guess, I guess I could probably name like one or two. Um, 
we've invested in Foda. It's a gaming uh, company, and what they've done is, uh, it's a play to earn uh, gaming platform, and it's backed by Microsoft and other really big names. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're based out of Vietnam. We are working with them to do their PR and marketing. Um, so yeah, that's that's been really great. Uh, another project that we invested in is Coinmara uh, that is based out of Africa and it's an exchange that is backed by several, several projects, uh, politicians, um, just really key opinion leaders in the space as well. Uh, what they're doing is bringing mass adoption and education to the entire continent. So it's really backed by some strong figures. Wonderful. Very exciting indeed. Now we're going to get to our rapid fire section where I'm going to ask you a series of questions, quick answers, like three to five seconds. Okay. Okay. Almost like a game show, but different. All right. Okay. Let's okay. Do this. Here we go. <laughs> what are your predictions for Bitcoin in 2023? So I've been reading a lot about this. Average low of around 30K, but some sources predict 70. Uh, I think that's really hopeful <laughs> exactly fingers crossed what are your predictions on ethereum prices in 2023 um i would say an average low of around two to five what are the top crypto coins in your wallet and why bitcoin ethereum bnb i love what they do for the ecosystem um i feel like it's a i mean not financial advice safer investments during markets like this uh, also, they just keep building. It's it's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Now, let's look into the crystal ball. Do you think uh, cryptocurrency will become as common as flat currency over the next decade? Well, it's possible, but it really depends on the speed of education, the user experience. Currently, apps can be really confusing that are involved in crypto. So we need to make it easier, educate the masses, and then we'll get there. What are your favorite NFT collections? Invisible Friends, Doodles, Pudgy Penguins, um, Azuki as well. And there's a artist that does like one of one pieces. His name is Yugo. He has his Dreamers collection. Love the quality. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Now, you are an inspiring entrepreneur in the blockchain space. What message would you like to give NFT Studio 24 viewers, Web3 developers, stakeholders, and aspiring NFT artists? Never give up. Just never give up. Keep going. Keep growing. Tough it out. You got this. <laughs> We've been through it. You have to do it. It'll get there. It'll get better. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us today, Doctor, on NFT Studio 24. Thank you for having me. It was great speaking to you. It's been a true pleasure. And to the folks at home, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more exclusive content. I'm Logan Crawford for NFT Studio 24.